Hello everyone, I am Dickman, and this is They Hulk. Hello. And we invite you to join us on our adventures into the minds of some of the internet's biggest weirdos. I think we'll start simply. We'll just, I, I, okay, I think we should go with uh, 10 observations from banging 100 girls in one okay. year. And uh, I, I, can't fi- I can't find who uploaded this uh, originally. Um, again, this is, but it's it's this is a um, a PDF document that's got uh, it's got pictures and everything. This one, and um, but it doesn't appear to be affiliated with any website, from what I can. Say. But anyway, so <clears throat> so ten observations on on wi- ten observations on women from banging one hundred girls. So the title again, like with all of them, the title of the document is different to the upload title. <laughs> Um, last year was an incredible year for me. I travelled a lo- t- I travelled a lot of countries across the world and smashed a lot of exotic girls. Um, I don't know what exotic uh, means. Like maybe uh, he went and he found pe- people that didn't belong there. Also, yeah. I mean, I he think. Exotic- like, oh, are you also a tourist? And then. <laughs> But it's just that it's, I'm I'm always skeptical of the fact that he, these geezers have to travel. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, because there's a lot of countries where, you know, there's, there's a lot of country. Well, also there's a lot of countries where simply being a white geezer who's got, you know, you know, you, you might only have a couple of hundred dollars in this country, but is in the top. It, it, you'd be on the Forbes rich list in some other places, and they'd be, mm-hmm. you know, you know, or other places where certain certain sexual. Uh, exploits are legal, you know. And I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean, specific places would make sense for mm. someone who's like, I'm gonna spend some money. Yeah, I think also he travels to a lot of countries because he doesn't want anyone to any of it to catch up with him. Um, anyway, yeah, so, that's, um, that's the one thing that seems a bit. <laughs> so uh, lo- last year, I banged well over 100 girls. Sure. Covering. Now, now I don't see why he just has to say well over because I, I don't believe any man who is keeping track enough to know it's up to, to, to you know who is this guy. I, you know, this is a, one of those guys who keeps track of every all the numbers. He knows all of the stats. So to say well over one hundred, why not just say what what the exact number is and he says well, he says you know, one, you know it <laughs> when he says 100 girls covering the entire spectrum of personalities i'm like oh yeah it's personalities right is that is that right mate yeah personalities was it yeah. that's why he <laughs> banged them oh obviously and obviously you usually bang people because of their personality well but obviously also the problem is is like logically if you bang 100 plus women in a year that means he's Statist- that means logically he's uh, he's only got at least three and a half days to get to know these women. Right. At you best. Don't know them. Exactly. And they don't know him, and that's probably a good thing. Right? Anyway. Yeah, that's, that's probably the whole uh, point. He, sa- he says, I met pure angels, and I met some of the worst kind, too. Yeah, the, oh the worst kind. The worst kind. He still shagged them, obviously. I mean, yeah. they're the worst kind of person. But he still went for, you know, he still oh, bowed okay. it in his heart. I smashed virgins and I smashed super sluts. Now I don't know what a I don't know what a super what, slut is. I'm, what adds the super? Like, is there like a threshold, and then you get also, like, crowned super slut? Because that sounds well, fun. I'm, I'm also curious staff. to know, like, I'm also curious to know which, the, the, like, how he, like, you know, I mean, I mean, how does this come into like uh, any conversation? You know, it's, it's, it, I mean, like I said, he's not been, he's not been there. Look, when he says super sluts, I'm assuming he means hookers. Right? And that's what no. I'm. That. See, I don't. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Yeah, and uh, well, and and virgins. I'm like, really? I mean, what, is that just what they told you? You know, is he? Maybe. This. Yeah. He strikes. This guy strikes me as the kind of arsehole who, like, you know, who believes all the things. Like when he's talking to, if he does, if, if he was on a phone sex line. He believe everything. He believes yeah, everything. Dude, this girl's got this huge crush on me. Yeah. <laughs> He's a sort of geezer who watches porn and thinks that the you know these the the description like is like 
Like this woman is actually a schoolgirl, despite the fact she's clearly in her forties. You know that. Okay. He like in... he like comments his uh, reactions to the porn after he's yeah. done. He lets yeah. people he's, know. He's, he's the kind of geezer who leaves comments. <laughs> like he leaves cri- he like he leaves cri- he like reads reviews and stuff. Like he thinks <laughs> he thinks this is you know in some way necessary, right? Okay. In the past year. I've had some moments when I slowed it down and had a mini relationship. A uh, mini relationship. A mini relationship. Other times, I maintained a group of regulars, and sometimes I was smashing a few new girls a month. Which, and get this, and e- you know, I'm known for being quite crude and vulgar, right? And even I found this a little bit too much. He refers to. He apparently has another document which I'll have to look up. Where he ref- where he goes into more detail about smashing a few new girls a day. Oh, which this he refers like a to- novelist. He he, re- he refers to that as the full month cunt hunt. Oh <laughs> Jesus! No. Cheese and rice, dude. Yeah, the full month cunt hunt. It's like sort of like you know, it's like is it's the opposite of no nut November. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm busy. I did ex- I did exactly what I wanted to do and when I wanted to do it. <laughs> Having this kind of variety, not not only in types of girls, but also in the meter of intensity, is the key to long term traveling and adventuring. You know, not not like you know, culture or you know, just anything like it's just shagging. That's all it's that's all the only value this guy finds. In, uh, in in any of this and adventuring, yeah. Since like, January, go to a restaurant and get some good food or something. There's more yeah, to life I mean, than yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> go since, look at since, an ocean. <laughs> yeah, since January is the month of reflection and making resolutions. Now, I would have thought that December mm, would have been month. Yeah. Like you've you've already made your resolutions by January. Not that this geezer is making any resolutions. I can't think. I don't see what this guy. I can't believe he's the sort of guy who feels he has to change anything about himself. Um, I'll I'll look back on some observations I made from banging a large variety of girls. Right here we are. Number <laughs> number one. Everybody says banging like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number one. Uh, don't don't waste time on chicks that are not interested. Right. There's a diff- I mean. Th- there's a difference between a girl that's not attracted to you. Yet, yet, versus a girl that is not interested in you, you know, you have to know, you have to know what you're dealing with. Now, you would think at this point it would be useful if he told you how you de- how you tell the difference between one you're not interested, who's not interested in you yet, mm-hmm. and versus one who's just not interested. Full stop. Um, because presumably. Presumably, the woman who's not interested yet is not a woman who's gonna, who's saying, "I'm going to say no for now." But if he asks me seven more times, I'm going to be, you know. <laughs> Usually, this will be clear from the very first interaction with her. Again, he doesn't explain how this is, you know, how you tell. Like, tell this is very story. important. We're going to skip yeah. right over it. Yeah. If a girl, if a girl is not interested in you, don't waste your time trying to convince her otherwise. For, you know, for for nearly all girls I banged, I had some sign of interest from the very start. So, yeah. yeah, that's how attraction works. Yeah, you, and, you um, don't just be like you know what I've changed my mind. But again, this guy's definition of what interest is, you know, I mean, like right. it's, it, you know, and um, it's like a woman probably has to be running away, screaming, setting her own head on fire. Before, well, yeah, that think, one's not know. interesting. And, and, even, and even then, it's like you know, even then, it's like you know, still not sure. You know, you yeah. are better off. You are better off investing your investing the time you spend trying to convince this one girl that's not interested in you in finding ten other girls that are. <laughs> right. Well, in one night, I'm assuming that is right because obviously, like I said, he has, he doesn't spend a lot of time. He hasn't got much to. So, in fact, the harder you try to convince that girl, the worse you make it. Right? <laughs> yep. Presumably, yeah, pre- presumably because she's like you know, she's getting to know you more. So, like you know, it's just. 
He, he then goes on to use this term, which I've never, which is obviously a term that he uses or something within pickup artistry. The few times I turned around a cold girl it, to being interested were actually by soft nexting her. I don't know what nexting mm. means. Sporadically, sporadically keep in touch with her and only try to make the move again after a few months. Right? Which presumably, if you're travelling, this is of no fucking use. To, to you whatsoever right? um, maybe her situation has changed and she's now ready to meet you because you didn't display any neediness at all during that time you know uh, don't 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 next a girl as soon as you reach an obstacle though just be wise about your time investments and don't prioritize the girls who are cold to you from the start you don't make an effort you know, don't um. You know, don't. don't Doesn't don't, like you. Don't. Yeah. You know, don't try to make. If, her if her self esteem is not is not sufficient is not low enough that she's just you know willing to ta- willing to say yes to the first geezer. You know, if if she's not crying on a doorstep, smit re- with mascara running down her face, reeking of gin, then <laughs> you know. Number two, it's a hundred times easier to find a new girl than to repair a fuck up. What the hell? Wait, did he fuck up, or is he calling women fuck ups? I, well, well, let's let's you know. I, I don't <laughs> want to jump to any assumptions here. A lot of a lot of newbie questions on game are about how to fix a specific situation with a specific girl, and and that is normal. It is in our nature as men to want to fix and repair things that are broken. You know. <laughs> <laughs> It's in our nature as men, apparently. Yeah, but if you, but if you fuck, okay, but if you fucked things up with a girl, you are better off forgetting about the whole affair and moving on to the next girl, where you can start off with a clean slate. Just learn from your mistakes. Uh, there he oh, he's is. got examples. He's while he's traveling. Yeah. So over the past year, I fucked up a few. T- okay, so it is him. <laughs> so take. Okay, so let's take that back. So it is a few. You know. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I, um, I, and lost some really cool girls. Examples of fuck ups. Examples of fuck ups. Uh, failing her, sh- failing her shit tests. What the hell is a shit test? What the Wait, hell is a what? shit? Is it, does that mean? What the hell is a shit test? I've never. Is that this where she is tests? New. This is new to me. Is, is that where she tests to see whether or not is you a are a shit? Sample? Well, I don't think I'd want. I don't think I want to go with a woman. I mean, what kind of fucking woman? I don't think I want to go with a woman who's who needs to test that beforehand. You know, unless it's a uh, dietary mis- thing. Yeah, misreading her sig, misreading her signals. Okay, again, going sexual too. Uh, going sexual too early. I've gone. I've gone sexual, lads. I'm go- Hold on, lads. I'm going. I'm going full sexual. <laughs> and, uh, no, abort the mission. We have been uh, not not pushing for sex enough. Not pushing for sex enough. Right. Um. Um. Okay. Pushing. Again, this might- a weird word to okay, use. Okay. Act. Okay. Acting incongruently. Mm. Yeah. Okay, do you know? Do you know what that word means? Yes. I do, yeah. What does that mean? Because I, I, I'm Congruent, gonna be honest. I, I, congruence is like stuff that aligns, and so incongruent would be like if somebody like was behaving erratically and treating you different at different times. All right. Okay. Okay. So uh, some fuck ups can be corrected if they are not too big and not too often. But once you reach a threshold and she classifies you as undesirable or unsuited, it's game over. <laughs> Trying to repair your mistakes will likely make you break your frame. He keep print is this he keep break you he keeps using the word frame like this is a snooker break tournament. Bre- yeah, break your frame uh, and come across as needy. Even if you manage to repair a situation, you will have lost some of your power. In the, you have lost some of your power. Your your <laughs> level up bar needs to be. You need to, <laughs> he lost his uh, mojo. Yeah, you've lost your power. I'm like, I'm like what does it matter? You're only going to shagger and then fuck off in the next two, you know, <laughs> right away. So, and your and your relationship with her will never be the same again. Yes, in that you're, you're never going to never be the same again. Yes, in the fucking 
two days you're going to spend in her company. You know, it's like, it's not going to be... Is he keeping in touch with any of these people? It doesn't seem like that's any of well, interest I mean, at all. Well, I mean, well you, know, uh, you know, I guess not. Right, number three, <clears throat> you control whether you are put in a lover role or a provider role. <laughs> okay. Um, and also... He, he, as it, like first of all, those are the only two roles a man can fulfil, and also that then as if they're mutually exclusive. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's strange. You, you decide in which role you let yourself be put. You do not want to be put in a provider role. Not even, <laughs> not even if you're looking for a long term relationship, which is that's a fucking, weird. which is a fucking bank holiday weekend for this geezer, right? If she sees you as a provider. She will make you wait for sex and try to get you to spend to spend on her, and eventually she will find another man to fulfil the lover role. <laughs> uh, this guy's had some uh, mean people, apparently, because that's mm. weird. Yeah, you have to start out as being her lover. Uh, yeah, but he also says that it's your own fault. Well, good. Uh, if you, you know, um, uh, so so. Uh, you have to start out as being her lover. She will then start to try and convert you into a provider. That's such a weird fear. Uh, but, but if you start out as her provider, you can no longer ch- change into being lover. All right, so she's basically going to go, okay, then let's have sex. It's <laughs> like seeing as he's not going to, he's not going to buy me anything. Let's just <laughs> bang. Okay. Here are some, here are some, some of the mistakes you can do to get labeled as a provider. Number one, Providing for her. (laughs) That one came out of nowhere. I. This holds up. (laughs) This holds up especially if she has means for herself, but also if she doesn't. What? (laughs) I. I visited some. I visited some really poor countries, and sometimes it was tempting to just pay for things. You absolutely can. You absolutely can help her out. Some girls really couldn't afford paying for a taxi or public transport. Okay, but even in those situations, you have to make sure she is not thinking of you as a way to get free stuff. Yeah, the first thing you know, you're buying her a bus ticket. (laughs) (laughs) You give a mouse a cookie. Yeah, next thing you know, you're (laughs) fucking. Next thing you know, she's taking a mortgage out. You know, you've got to be careful with these things. You can help her, but only after you have established a connection. Uh, okay. okay. E.g. if E.g. if you meet a girl online, it's obviously a bad idea to buy her phone credits. But who has phone credits? What fucking phone decade credits. was this written in? What decade was this written in? We fucking <laughs> phone credits. Also, if these girl, if he's going, if he's going to places that have got pe- where people are so poor they can't afford public transport. Yeah, they, like that seems you're like if you can afford to travel around, you can afford to buy yeah. this nice lady a fucking sandwich. Yeah. Just, get a <laughs> fucking, just you can you can at least know if you've established you're the lover. I'm a, I hardly think you know getting her an Uber on the <laughs> uh, back to your yeah. place. You don't give anything. You gotta keep your uh, power. D- the other mistake you can make, okay, this is how you can, you can also end up a provider by trying to impress her with your means, right? <laughs> Trying to impress a girl is a bad move anyway. <laughs> trying okay. to impress a girl, trying to impress a girl, um, but trying to impress her with material things is even worse. Like, I mean, like what would you be trying? Like, what would you be trying to impress? Her? Like, say, so, so you just go up to her with a little handkerchief, going, "See the hanky? Now I'm going to watch this." And <laughs> poof, it's you know, it's like, are you, do, are you doing that trick with your thumb, where you make your thumb detach or something? Yeah. Um, the only thing you are you are achieving achieving when you tr- when you try to brag about your possessions or finances is getting her to think how much she can mooch off of you. This guy um, hates women. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, let's, it's, I think it's this, just, I think, oh, it drips. It's just this, this is this is not a fucking revelation. I mean, the title it's just of this oozing. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the, t- the title of this should have been. This is a man who went on a full month cunt hunt and yeah. wrote. A, you know, so I think we should, uh, oh. you know, it wasn't even women. Just the cunt. Just the cunt part of it. <laughs> That's all it was. Okay. Were they um, attached to anything? Nah. <laughs> no. Number t- no, number three. Uh, you can end up a, a provider by not being sexual enough. 
I made this mistake a, f- a few times and I always paid for it dearly. Like the last time, I had already banged a new girl and had a regular coming over later that night, so I was a little bit lazy with my current date. I got I got her to my room, but uh, during uh, but during her LMR routine again, again, he's, I don't know what LMR uh, routine. I got sick of I got sick of it. Oh, sorry, uh, I got sick of it and thought, uh, whatever, I'll get her next time. She interpreted this as me not being sufficiently sexual. But, uh, what the hell is an LMR? Last I minute. I have no idea. Last minute something. So I would have thought it was last. You know. I I literally am drawing a blank. I've never heard that before. <laughs> he, he got sick of waiting. He's like, it's like God's sake, girl, love. Hurry up! I've got another one coming over. <laughs> A bit. Yeah, poor him, dude. What what a horrible situation! Like, geez. yeah. So he only he only got laid once that night, you know. Uh, so she inter- she interpreted uh, this as me, this not me not being sufficiently sexual, you know, se- sexual enough. And sure enough, next time I had a hard time getting her to meet up again. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't like her. Like what? <laughs> she probably went to all this. She's probably going to all this effort, you know. Because Cilia didn't realise she was on a she was on a rotor system. Didn't realise this geezer yeah. had another, you know. She uh, uh, she didn't want to come to my place anymore. I want to go to dinner. I want you to t- I want you to take me to the movies. Like, well, she wanted to do other stuff. Other, you know, really? like you know, you have to How push for <laughs> you have you have to push for sex always, and you have to get. Wow. Again, he uses the term LMR skills. I'm going to have to look that Lamar. up. Okay, uh, Lamar. Yeah, get your Lamar, Lamar skills. Get, get your Lamar. Uh, read some more thoughts on, I think, I don't think, oh, the, the, the link is called swoopthewold.com uh, oh, for my art, for his article. I don't even know if that's uh, you know, that's active, that website. Let me, actually, let me click on it just to see. Oh, no, okay. It's a... <laughs> uh, Okay, it's not an active link. Okay. Oh, good. A... This guy is like writing like the diary of who he wishes he was. Let's be honest. Let's have a look. <laughs> let's, have a, let's have a look on. Uh, sw- oh no, swooptheworld dot com still exists. Oh God. Um, let's, let's look at uh, you know, it's just uh, the number one international Playboy community. Oh, really? Oh, good. A community. How much? That's yeah. just how you how much do you want? Do you know what? I'm, I, I won't fucking get into that now. I'll look at that <laughs> another time. Right. Number four. Okay, there's a number four. Number observation number four. You have to fuck her well on the first night. Right. Well, right. That this this fits in with being a lover rather than a provider. What so if you don't do a good enough job, she thinks, well, you know. <laughs> maybe he'll still buy me stuff. Maybe maybe he'll still buy me stuff, right? You know. Whereas if you fuck her well, she won't be thinking that at all. Yeah. Be, oh, no, I don't need it. I don't need suddenly I'm no longer shallow. I no longer have any <laughs> I'm no I'm no longer a gold digger. He's fucked me so you know, the last <laughs> post nut clarity, dude. Yeah. Suddenly uh, I have you... empathy again. I don't know what again, happened. <laughs> you have to you, you have to be congruent, yeah? Right hey. with your with your with your role as a lover and and be able couldn't you just be a crap lover like, couldn't we could we, couldn't that be your role you know, <laughs> uh, you know a shit lover but after you go through the whole game of seduction and she has classified you as a lover and decided to give it up for you it's your turn to deliver and fuck her really well if you want to see her if you want to see her again you have to continue your lover frame in the bedroom Leave the romantic love making for her boyfriend, or oh my for, God. or for when you know each other better. Yeah, I only have, I only slow. Up. I'm not gonna, wow. have to, I'm not gonna be romantic until I know you better. Like, like what the, what the hell does that even mean? Uh, for, but for now, <laughs> it's, t- it's better. It's, I don't want to know. It, who it, you it are. says, but for <laughs> now, it's for now, it's it's the time for just fucking her brains out. Ah, oh, brilliant. Jesus. Right, okay. Uh, dominate her and let her feel dominated. Right. 
that's the same thing. She wants to be taken. Where? I thought you, I thought you couldn't take her anywhere. She, but, she <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take her anywhere. You're, you've already escaped. Make her, make, make her come and make her feel like a woman. Well, I would argue that there's nothing that makes a woman feel more like a woman than a man disappointing her. That's true. That's like, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> then, a, then a, meeting a geezer in a bar who is who, whose whose mouth is right in checks, his penis cannot cash. You know, like, yeah. definitely, even if definitely a hallmark of uh, it, even if you <laughs> don't care, even if you don't care about seeing her again, you have to make this your default performance for the first time you smash a girl. It's just part of your. He keeps using he keeps using the word frame again. He goes, I think he, he links an article called How to Use. About called how to use sex, written by a guy called Fisto. <laughs> <laughs> Fisto McGillicutty. Who in the hell is Fisto? I'm not reading. I do not want to take advice from a geezer called Fisto. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh fucking god! All right now, number five. Right. Women lie more than men. Sure. Right. We, we, you know, because obviously this geezer's totally on it. You know, which basically, you know, he's he must be doing his bit to like to even things up this a bit. This is gospel. Um, yeah, we all we all know the beaten to death o- opener from the pickup artist days of of yore. Oh yeah, the pickup artist days of yore. What a fucking wow. wonderful, <laughs> what a wonderful set. Of the days of yore of pickup Ooh. artistry. The question yeah, is maybe. the question. The question is supposed to raise some controversy or polarised opinions, but to me, this question is as debatable as who menstruates more. The, the, the more women you get to know, the more you learn about them, the more obvious this reality becomes. Besides, besides the... No- just let him... Just give him a chance. OK, before you, before you step in there and say, you know, you know, be, besides the normal lies everybody makes, men and women alike, women add two full categories of lies on top of these. One, justified lies that she didn't even register as lies. Okay. Okay, if she didn't register them, how does she justify them? How can you justify something that you don't even know you're doing? Like by the t- by the term, if I, like if you're saying she didn't even that, that you know if you don't even register something you're saying as a lie, then doesn't that mean that you don't know? That would be like an unconscious you're... lie. It's not very. That would be your, that, well. That sort of that means you're a pathological liar. Yeah. Like everything that you don't know that you don't actually know like, because this is the legal problem. Right. This is the problem with this is the problem with things like slander and libel. Is you've 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 often got it's impossible sometimes. You've got to, you can't just prove that someone lied. You've got to prove that they knew right. they were lying. Exactly. Um, women love to appear as innocent little angels, and you, this geezer is not. In, you are not in a position, bruv, to criticize right. her. I wonder why that is. And they will, and they will lie about anything that could damage this self view without giving it a second thought. Lies to protect this innocent identity are automatically justified, and she doesn't even consider them to be lies. So yeah, again, so it's not even. Yeah, but, again, but again, he's not asking himself why that is. Like, wh- why do women? Because maybe they don't want to end up in some geezer's top ten things I learned from banging a hundred super sluts last year. <laughs> you know? You know, for example, it will be very rare for a woman to give you an honest answer on her number of previous sex partners. Again, why is this? Right, because you know, you know, because How could, some he literally could never know whether that's a lie. There's no. But also, we know, we know he could not only could he not know that, but you know, you've got to ask yourself. You know, this there's the inverse of this. With you know, which you know is a bit of a thing, but it's true. Is that you know, men tend to lie. The other way, like I if a ge- doubt if- he told everyone he quote banged, yeah, about all the other ones. But like- you, but the, but but I mean, what I'm what I'm saying is like it's very common for to me you know, for men to exaggerate mm-hmm. the amount of people they've yeah depends you know, who you're they, talking they, to they've, they they they've had sex with and who and who you know whereas like you know women 
Yeah, but again, he's not asking himself why that is. It's because some. I think any man who is asking that question, you know, is a man who for whom literally any number is too big. <laughs> like you know, like 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 she could say she could say she could say two. It's like two, two it's like Jesus oh, Christ, like, you know. <laughs> And um, and yeah, so uh, like that guy that bang, banged her on a trip to Jamaica didn't count, right? And that no, it's not that they d- don't count them. It's just they know, they do count them. They know how many people they've shagged. Probably, I'm imagining they just Unless they're not just count like this guy. Yeah, uh, and that one she when she was drunk that didn't count either. Okay. Um, also, that one time that guy kept in... He seems to know a lot of it, you know. How did he find yeah. this out? Like, right. He, probably, do you know what? Because he was probably the geezer who fucking... He was, he was <laughs> shagging them when they were drunk. He was the drunk... Right. He was the... He was the he geezer was the other one. With, He was the other one. He, the one time, <laughs> that, you know... Or that one time that guy kept insisting, not her fault, so it doesn't count. Not, what do you mean, not her fault? Like, these, these lies don't even register to be lies of her because she made herself believe them. <laughs> there's a lot of projecting happening i think <laughs> yeah number two no and and the, the second lie is lies she doesn't even realize she's making that's literally the same fucking thing <laughs> like, you just said that he literally said it just it, the end of the last sentence of number one was these don't even register as lies because she she made herself believe them then number two is lies she didn't realize she's making like that's the same thing Wait, so is this the only two kinds? Yes, yeah. So, so there's, there's one kind. Women only lie unknowingly all the time. Yeah, so women, 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 yeah, so women are basically incapable of like, like it's not your fault. You just you've got a genetic predisposition to to just talking out of your ass, right? Okay. And <laughs> another category of lies that women make are those they don't even realize. Again, like I just like how can he sit here? Writing that, not knowing that he's literally just written this, like, thing. what? Why is it? If we, I don't think we've had a single one of these things yet where they don't end. Th- th- there is not an unnecessary amount of padding or repetition in any of these things. You know, uh, listen, listen to every single description a woman gives you about what her ideal man should be: sweet, caring, romantic, kind, a gentleman. Well, yeah, they do mean that, but they just, you know, they're not. They're not going to tell you everything, you know, you know, and about what she wants. I don't want sex on the first date. I only want want a serious relationship. Yeah. Did you know why? Right, because if they don't put that, like, they know that men are either going to assume that, or if they, you know, no woman's going to put "I just want sex" because then they're just <laughs> their inbox, their inbox is going to fucking dissolve, right? Yeah. No one's gonna, you know, no woman's gonna put that. I, I, uh, only the fact, only the fact is that the guy they get, they get wet for, doesn't happen to portray these qualities. You know, he, yeah, he isn't a sweet, caring, romantic. He's basically, he's a fucking, he's just, he's just basically a sasquatch that smells of stale beer, cat piss, and pickled onions, and you does see- nothing but. <laughs> You say you like nice, cool, attractive yeah. men, but then you yes, you, you, want a, you you want, you, you just want a big, you just want a hulking, great big fucking thumbless oh, oh, mm, 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 woman, come here. Yeah, you want you want like Tarzan, you know. You want a guy, you want a guy in a loincloth, right? And um, like, a, um. No, they they are attracted to the guy that doesn't fall for their bullshit. Ah, so when women put things on dating sites, that's them seeing. It in a, the men who believe that crap are the ones they don't want, right? The ones who turn up, the ones who message them saying, okay, slut, hello. Mm. <laughs> I know. Um, mm. Who's not afraid to show his sexuality and who pushes for sex on the first date. But can we really blame women for this? It's just how they're programmed, right? <laughs> no, but programmed by who, Our, mate? Uh, programmed <laughs> programmed by who? That's the question you're not fucking asking yourself. This is where, you know, it's it's that next bit. You're this close. You're this close to figuring this out, mate. 
But can all can we really treat women like shit and then they all turn yeah. out to be bitches? It's can crazy. We, he, he, says, he says, can we? Re, he says, can we really blame the lion for eating the baby zebra? That's what he compares women lying to. Like it's what? like the, the, the lion eating the baby zebra. We all have we all we all have to accept our nature. Like, but women are like lions prancing around the African savanna, claiming they are vegetarian. What? Yeah, just just admit to being the dirty whores that you all fucking <laughs> are. <laughs> God damn! I, I want to, every dating profile should I want to be held down against my will by a geezer with a dick that like four baked bean tins welded together. That's what I fucking want. When you no meet love, a, please. When, Not interested. <laughs> He keeps overwriting. He keeps he keeps hammering this point out. When you meet a lion, you can trust on it's not a vegetarian the same way you can trust that a woman is not as innocent as she would like you to have you believe. Uh, okay, right. Okay, whatever, mate. Um, Unlike me, the, the author who but, is very but, trustworthy. Hmm. <laughs> but also again, but also again, this depends on whether you are interested in that because I've I've never asked. I I, I don't ask. You know. Well, when maybe when I was younger, I might have asked women, or talked about you know talked about you know our past sexual exploit. No, I mean, but I mean, I didn't care, you know, and um, but like, <clears throat> but I, but I, I don't ask now because it really sort of it's kind of irrelevant, you know. So like, you know, fr from all the girls I met, none of them were as innocent as they tried to appear. You literally said at the what start. What does that mean? Yeah, but also he said at the start, he literally said at the start that he smashed angels and virgins. I mean, they must have been, you can't have negative, like, they can't say, I've slept with negative fucking, how could, you know, what, 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 unless they were sat there, like, in a fucking, you know, in a, in a gingham dress with a lollipop going, like, you know, like, 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 like I don't have any idea, you know. Uh, is, he don't just, get is, it, is it because they let him fuck them that suddenly now they're not innocent as yes, like I think I, they were? That is probably true. You know, for like, uh, don't well, get turns fooled. Out they weren't. Don't, don't get don't get fooled by her words or sweet appearance. Which brings us to my next point, number six. Don't listen to a woman's words. Listen to her actions. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. You, you can't listen to someone's actions, can you? Um, if they're like bumping into stuff, I guess. Really well, also, it reminds me. It reminds me. It reminds me. <laughs> well, it, it, reminds me it reminds me of this. Um, whenever I see someone, whenever I see that people writing or, or using that phrase, words mean nothing, actions everything. I always say, "Why did you write that down?" <laughs> <laughs> like, because, okay, as discussed in the previous point, women often have no clue that they are lying. And some some of their lies are not even registered as such. You can never take a woman's word seriously. Um, uh, that's super. In sad. Yeah. In fact, when you take a woman's word literally or seriously, you will actually be losing attraction from her. Ah, oh, right. What? Women why? love not <laughs> being listened to and yeah. assumed to be lying. <laughs> they Is love that. I put. A perfect example of this is is a girl's what he this is, oh god here we go. this is what he calls a girl's ASD which is which is short for the anti slut defense um, or oh LMR last minute resistance oh that's creepy now that that puts a hell oh my god that puts a you know that puts a hell of a you know that's that puts a that puts a completely yikes. different context on what he was talking about earlier. Yeah, I have last, a plurality of yikes. Also, last minute resistance. I mean, yeah, like but that's generally the point you're going to resist, aren't you? You're not going to resist before any. <laughs> you, you know, you're not going to you're not going to be resisting him before he makes a move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's oof. A so he sent that girl you, home earlier because she didn't want. Yeah, because she was resisting him, but it was and, only her last. Minute resistance, you know, right? Which was, hmm. which is just, which is just there, which is just a formality. Uh, uh, hmm. A woman, a woman will tell you, no, stop! I don't want to have sex with you. 
while she is helping you take off her pants in your bed. Um, 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 sure, Jan. I'm I'm sure that I'm sure that happened. Eesh. Um, should you actually listen to her, she will resent you for it. She will think she will think what a loser. How can he not understand the signals I'm sending him? Ugh. What what the signals of like not not consenting? But it's it's nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with satisfying you, darling. I don't want to go to fucking prison. You know, pardon me. You know, like you know. I don't know about y'all, but I'm uh I'm attracted to people who. I I'm I am I am quite. I will take you thinking I'm a loser out over being me tooed on the internet yeah, on Twitter. That too. <laughs> like, I will take you know. Uh, no, I'm not into that. No thanks. It's women expect you not to listen to their words and instead That's read disgusting. read the signs that she's sending you. Oof. Oof. A great, ex- a great example, a great, a great example, a great example was this girl I met at a party. I ended up at her place, but I forgot my condoms. This is not going to end well. She explained to me in detail. She explained to me in detail how to get to the Seven Eleven near her apartment to go and buy some condoms. Yet, as I'm putting putting on my shoes to head out, she tells me, "But we're not going to have sex." And then he puts a link to the full story is here, and uh, you know I don't need the full story. I'm going to assume you know, you know, like I don't believe that happened, right? I don't, yeah. you know, like I don't believe any woman would tell a man go buy some condoms, but you know, but we're not doing it, you know. <laughs> you're, you're, you know she just she likes brings... to wrap them around like fruit and stuff and fun. Yeah. <laughs> she, she brings out like and she brings gonna out gonna do like you know, a water balloon fight. She, 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 she brings out a series of barnyard animals. Like, you know, oh like, no, no, rewind. <laughs> maybe she just, or maybe she just wanted to fuck around, like put load, put a load of condoms on their heads and just like you know yeah. do you know do a load. They can cover your whole head. That's a lot of yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. You could impress her with your balloon. Oh, but you don't want to do your balloon animals. <laughs> balloon animals. You, don't, you, don't, you don't want to impress her. You don't want to impress her. Plus, I don't think I don't ever think I don't think being good at balloon animals has ever been a deal breaker in getting a woman into bed. <laughs> That's just my. I don't know. ever think it's been a deal maker either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my goodness, I'm, I'm sorry good. about the dog. He's freaking out. It's okay. That's okay. Number seven, you can you can and should judge a woman by her past. Oh, I mean, you can't judge her by your future, so I guess. No, um, this maxim holds water, especially when it comes to predicting a woman's loyalty. Uh, the the less loyalty. men she, the less men she has slept with before, the more likely she can be a loyal girl with a huge okay. drop in the curve between zero to one. Uh, there are there are good girls, sluts, and everything in between. But what about super sluts? I mean, I want to yeah. know. You know, there are good girls, sluts, and everything in between. And uh, oh, and it's an illusion that many men love to adapt, love to adapt to, to believe they can change the nature of a girl. This illusion is false. A slutty girl can shift upward on the good girl scale. But only a little bit, <laughs> and uh, you can only go up several un- se- several units of uh, of uh, non sluttiness. Um, and um, I don't know, I don't know what me- I don't know what the measurement is. Uh, uh, yeah, and and with a clear time and with a clear time constraint, uh, the, the the bigger the slut. I'm assuming he means in sluttiness, not in actual physical mass. Right. Um, the yeah. big the bigger the slut, the smaller. The behavioral shift is it's very scientific this isn't it oh, yeah. i mean he's really okay um <laughs> God knows, of course uh, it's interesting to see that he doesn't apply this to himself mm-hmm. you know like if he'd met a girl who clay who had a fucking sexual history the fucking like you know like the one he, i don't see women writing these fucking what i learned from banging a hundred geezers last fucking yeah. you know, last year you know your best guarantee they wouldn't to be fu- loyal anymore because because well, no. uh, yeah, this guy totally wants loyalty. Obviously, yeah. what are your you best for? your your best guarantee to finding a girl that can remain loyal to you is to find a virgin. Okay, uh, from all 
from all the girls I've slept with in the past year uh, that have been the most trustworthy and loyal are the girls that were virgins. Yes, because they've got nothing to compare it to yet. Like, yeah. that's, you're the only, you're the only point of reference. You've ruined you know, men for her. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get in there and ruin them. So fucking, you know, geezers like up, all us other geezers have to fucking foot the bill. Right here we go. <laughs> and, in contrast, in contrast, take Kenya for example, one of my regular girls in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Regular girls okay. in Thailand. Yeah. Bet okay. totally. Yeah, uh, I I knew from the start she was a party girl, but I demanded I demanded loyalty <laughs> from her, even though she was completely in love with me at the time. I'm sure she was, mate. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah. I later I later found out that she had cheated on me while I was out of the country for two weeks. Pref- <laughs> like presumably fucking people. Uh, presu- yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. Some girls crave male attention. I'm like, like, <laughs> and and they need need it need it like they need oxygen. You cannot change that change that i mean look look at your fucking self here yeah buddy look you know, talk, about who, talk about people who need desperately need attention from the opposite sex it's like you can't turn a slut into a good girl even if they are in love yeah yeah when a man loves a woman <laughs> it it doesn't oh, matter because she's a big slut, <laughs> and, you, and you can't change that. Um, it is up to you to find out what you want f- from a girl. If loyalty is important, to to make uh, uh, blah, blah blah blah. Okay, number eight, drama is predictable. Okay, if you spend if you spend enough time with any girl, drama is a guarantee. Do not believe that you can avoid it. There is no such thing as a stable status quo relationship with a woman. <laughs> okay. Presumably because he believes there's no such thing as a stable woman. Yeah, you know, follows. Uh, relationships are a battlefield where the woman will not cease to claim power over her man. Uh. Know, she will keep she will keep testing she will keep testing you to find weaknesses. A woman's weapon of choice is to do to, to do so is dra- is drama. Um, a good prediction on when and when to expect drama is ironically after you have been too nice to her. <laughs> too nice. <laughs> too nice to her. Oh uh, shit! I we'll, was nice to her. That's yeah. uh, what a mistake. Well, no, he doesn't say you can't be nice. He just says you can't be too evil. nice. Yeah. <laughs> You can't be too, you can't be too nice for her. If a woman senses she's gaining ground with you, she will try to anchor her gains by eliciting an emotional reaction from you. She will test she will test your boundaries by starting drama. Yeah, what, get, get, go, what do you mean drama? Right? She do, you've only just met her, right? She just she doesn't she doesn't need a direct reason. If she do, if she doesn't find a specific trigger, she will create one. Well, then it doesn't matter, then, does it? I mean, you know, like, like, what does that mean? With the drama, she will start making demands, e.g. for you to see more her more often, to spend more time with her, to be monogamous. Oh, to, you know, to tell her what your name is. You know, all of these, all of, all of these unreasonable... They just want yeah. so much. All, all, of, all of these things, you know, for you to stop fucking her when she's asleep. You know, all this unreasonable... All these unreasonable. This bitch wants me to be nice to her. What a needy. Having a go at you, having a go at you because your check bounced. Oh, like, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> She's testing your reactions, to, your reaction to her irrational behaviour. It is irrational for someone, for a woman to, you know, uh, to uh, to ask, you know, for a monogamous relationship. Wow. Like that is. It's, it's, like, it's, women need to be loyal, but. Obviously, yeah, I women don't need to want... be women need to be a loyal. But if they if they ask the same thing, it's irrational. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and exa- here's an example. Oh, he's got an example. Thank God from one from one of my Dominican 
girls. My Dominican girls. girls. It was the first time I had let her sleep over at my place. She was so happy and telling me how great I am and how much she loved me. Yes, hands up who <laughs> hands up who likes me. Right? That she had she had just acquired a new uh she had just acquired a new privilege, so I knew drama was coming. This is a privilege. You've been rele- you have been granted access to his to his Ooh. you know to his fucking love his his uh, his his love his love making said you know his, his, to his boudoir that is a privilege apparently you've upgraded now it's um the next day I didn't reply immediately to one of her messages this had never been a problem sometimes I wouldn't respond to her for days this time however she started sending follow up message why don't you reply like you never have time for me. Okay, I will never see you again. So very predictable. Um, <laughs> so I ignored um, this bitch. <laughs> mad, you the, talk mad, to me the mad, mad tart. Fucking like, like, if you if you if your girl He's is so giving crazy. you, I'm like, if if your girl is giving you drama, but maybe she assumed that you know there was like you know. You'd, you know, you'd move. Maybe it wasn't like oh, being unreasonable. She thought, oh, he's invited me round his. We must be, you know. Or maybe you know, she thought, as you know, that th- th- you know, is expecting a little bit more. I, I mean, a few days after a text, you know. I mean, what was what did the text say? I mean, did the text, you know, a lot of missing info here. Yeah. Um, if if your girl is giving you drama, always remember what is going on and don't fall into the trap of trying to solve it with logic. <laughs> it isn't it isn't about logic for her. Solve it, solve it with condom balloon animals. And then he links to it he links to his website again. He goes, read some more on drama here. Right. There is no such thing as a drama free relationship with a woman. Have you can I also point out, mate, that, that scientifically, right? Like if we were if we were to use science here, the one all of your relationships with women all have drama. And yet the one you know, generally in science, you know, when you run different tests, if you get a similar reaction, you have to find what is the one c- constant factor in all of these tests. And the one constant in all of them is you. <laughs> <laughs> No, Did the one ever... constant is women. It's got to be women. It can't possibly yeah. be me. A red pill man can only rest can only rest in his grave. Fantastic! How bl- wonderfully bleak. Mm. Anyway, uh, number nine. Number nine. Willingness to walk away and calling her bluff. Um, one of the best weapons for a man to keep the upper hand in a relationship with a girl is the willingness to walk away. Well, we've you've definitely got that, mate. Um, yeah. You you don't you walk know, away. You walk the power away. Dynamic you wa- you is so gross. He doesn't just he doesn't just walk away. He gets a taxi to the airport and fucks <laughs> off somewhere else for two weeks. I mean, a woman can never feel a woman can never feel like you need her more than she needs you. There is no such thing as a healthy perfectly balanced relation there is no such thing as a healthy perfectly balanced relationship one person will always have the up one person will always have the upper hand one person will always want the other more you have to make sure that it's you who has the upper hand this is so sad (laughs) this guy's got such an inferiority complex it's so bad you have to be powerful. You have to have, you overpower the women so yeah. you can have power because you are powerful. It, it, but it's, it's, it points like this when you read this stuff, and it's like, it, it, and it, you just like, you do, I do genuinely sit and think, I just feel sorry. I, it's not, I'm not impressed by it, obviously, but also it's like, I don't, I, I just feel sorry for him that you, this is yeah. how you live your life. I like feel you sorry think for women, anyone who had to meet this dude. Like you, 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 like you live your life believing that any interaction with a woman is is some kind of like, like it, it's some that there's some kind of Machiavellian plot <laughs> afoot here. Like there's, so, and you have to like treat it like it's like it's some competition or a game or a you know or or, or you know and like it's like it really is quite sad. Like a girl having the upper hand in a relationship is a recipe for disaster. 
But for you, I figure obviously, out how shitty you are. Yeah. <laughs> but he never he like I don't see, I'm trying to figure out but a disaster you, like he means that for him. Yeah. Because like like he doesn't he doesn't ta- take into account that from the woman's perspective. <laughs> Him with the him having the upper hand is a disaster for them. You know, a girl can't be given. Pa- himself. He doesn't have that ability. A girl cannot be given power over you. She will immediately see it. She will immediately use it to claim more, but she won't be happy when she gets it. She'll lose. She'll lose respect for you, not being able to control her. Ah, I see. You that know, is you know. so twisted. Holy shit. It's very Jordan. It's it's, a, it's that Jordan Peterson thing about how like you know, yeah. like men we cannot have respect. Chaos and we have it's like, it's like, order. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like it's like men can respect each other because there's always the threat of physical violence, but because you can't hit a woman. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I just I just want to hit hit a woman. You know. I just you know sometimes you don't have a good enough argument. You just want to hit That's women. It. as soon as you are in some way dependent on a girl emotionally or by other means she will exploit this to establish power over you emotional investment will don't don't emotionally invest in in, in, in anything this is that is why you should never give her full security or commitment and always display a willingness to walk away from the relationship. The best way to do the the best way to do this is to have options for yourself. Always have many girls in your life. Never make one girl the priority. But you but you do make one girl the priority. Presumably when you're with one woman, even if it's the you know, it's one of the first of three that you've organized to see, that is the priority at that, you know, at that moment, you know, a lot of time, to- a lot of times, women will bluff uh, to test to test your reaction. If you have if you have other girls to fall back on, you are much more likely to be unaffected and call out her bluff by showing your willingness to walk away. So, I, I, I don't know what he means by bluff. What what are they gonna, you know? Oh, presumably that's like you know the same thing like as last minute resistance. Yeah. You know, presumably he's talking about the you know if they if they resist, be, but then he, but then like he was talking about that as a mistake, as a fuck up, like you know as, as a, you know I, I don't fuck it. This guy's all over the place. Right? You know, she will see her drama didn't work and come back to you with increased attraction and commitment, and the power balance in the relationship will remain. <laughs> I have just the power. Powers, like ooh. I have the power so to. to, to, to. I've just, I've just got the He Man theme going. Okay, occasionally you may lose lose a girl, and it sucks to lose one of your favorite girls. But you are better off <laughs> losing a girl than being controlled by her. You know. And then he just repeats that. He then writes that down again. Okay, and number ten, and number ten, women. Women do not, all caps, women do not understand themselves and you can't explain it to them. (laughs) (laughs) You don't don't know you. You don't know you're lying. You don't know. You don't. You don't know that you're lying. You can't help yourself. You don't know. You don't know who, what you are. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you're saying. You're fucking, you know, you, <laughs> women are women are unaware of all of these messed up. Beha- women are women are unaware of all of these messed up behaviors discussed above. <laughs> they, they, they act they act impulsively on their emotions and then later try to rationalize their behavior, trying to make sense of it all. That's not that's not a She's fucking. Totally not that, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that's just, that's a human quality. That's what we do. Is like you know that's what, you know that's what, you know drug addicts do the same fucking thing. You know, I know this. It's I know this. Human. I know this as a, yeah. I know this as a drug addict. You know, you you always sit. They always do that. Oh, I could quit any time I want. I could quit any time. You know, yeah. <laughs> like um, for sight. For, for, for this 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 
sorry, the first, this, this paragraph, the first two sentences, the first two words just crack me up. For science, I have for, for science. For science, in the in the in my stu- my studies in slotology, as a, as a full <laughs> for science, I have tried to explain the red pill theory and these observations to one of the most rational, rational and logical parentheses smart exclamation mark girls <laughs> I have met so, I have met so far. Surprisingly, she could relate to it. I'm oh, not. It's amazing. It's a, can you believe it, girls? Can you believe <laughs> that he he explained all of this alpha this male bullshit? Isn't that yeah, wild? And it's and it's amazing. The one girl that he chose to explain <laughs> it to, fucking girl. No, you don't. Say, I bet she sat there like no. Oh, f- 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 yeah, f- well, fuck my pubic hair. I had no. <laughs> I did not. I had no idea. Less surprisingly, this did not impact her behaviour in the slightest. Because you, this is like saying, did you know that you know? Did you know that the sky is blue and like you know, and like <laughs> water is wet? And by the way, you know, men are fucking emotion. You know, men emotion are emotionally stunted. You know, and sexual degenerates who have trouble connecting with their fucking feelings. You know. And, um, <laughs> I predicted. Yeah. I predicted her behaviour to the letter, uh, and still, and still, with this information and the gu- so he even told her he's like Darren Brown. He's like the Darren Brown of sex. He's like, I will predict that I will tell you this, and you will, <laughs> Was this and, yet you will and yet you will still blow me when I ask you to in five. And you know, it's like it's like he's, he's got some Jedi mind trick. He's like. <laughs> I predicted her behaviour, but uh, no, and uh, and the, uh, yeah, I, I predicted her behaviour to the letter, and still with this information and the goal to prove me wrong, she could not control her emotions, like and was ashamed to admit I was right. <laughs> like, and, 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 yeah, as soon as I come in her mouth, I said, "Now, what did we learn?" <laughs> oh God, dude, Jesus. Oh, I'm not even Christian. I like want to cross myself it's, after that. It's it is a force stronger than rationality and logic. Well, those aren't forces, for a start. Um, but more research data is required. I'm working on it. Oh, thank God! <laughs> <laughs> more research is required. Stay stay tuned for part two, covering more observations. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Great. There what you go, folks. Human being. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. That is, uh, you know, that is um, uh, ten observations. Uh, that, you know that you could have learned from this geezer banging a hundred girls in a year. I hope you've learnt as much as I have. And um, yeah. So I will see you next time. Woo-hoo. Say, good- say goodbye. Say- goodbye. Good. Well done. See, see, they do exactly. See, they want. They do exactly what we tell them. Yes.